for the try to What in God's name is going on in here? What was that ruckus? Cool blind me. Nerd alert! Trap, 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 trap. See, the doubler. I trap, 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 trap. See, I trap. Three, two, one. Interwebs, what's good? What's good? It is I, your boy. Uh, free M Free, aka Free Illuminati, Free SPN. You know, uh, welcome to episode four of the Birds in the Trap podcast. I, f- I feel like last episode I didn't even introduce the show; I just went right into it. So let me ah, make sure I get the show. Yes, yes, yes. We gotta talk about that too, because I, I I got it to a point. Literally, all you gotta do when we're done with this is say it, and then I can just drop it back in. I got it already. Okay. Out, so I got okay. I, I got too excited last episode. My bad. Yeah, my as bad. you should be though. As you should. But as you should. yeah, we here. We episode four. You know, we still coming along. Appreciate y'all for following us along on this journey. And as always, I'm here with my illustrious co-host, Doctor Jones. Doctor Jones, talk to the people. What's up? What's up? It's uh, Doctor Doomsday, uh, the Double XL Professor, uh, Flex Luther. Uh, hey, that one I might be trademark though. Hey, I gotta stop you, Jones. That one, Flex Luther might be trademark. Tatiana King Jones, I think she got trademark yeah, on that day. one. Man, let him eat. Let him eat, man. Come on. Yeah. Shout out to Four All Norse Podcast, friend yeah, of the yeah. show. Well, soon to be friend of the show. Friend of some other shows on the network, but soon they'll be in the art. Shout out. That Jones Cook, Shout man. Out. Go ahead, Jones. <laughs> I'm a villain. That's you. That's, that's you. Yeah, yeah. Steal to, that shit. Try to stick in the, try to stick, stay in the villain mode. And I we, you, and we take it. <laughs> I feel you. Also, I also said Dr. Dank McCoy. Okay. Dank, I like that one. Yeah. Dr. Dank McCoy. That one, I, I think roll with that one. Okay. I like that one. I'm rocking with it. Oh, uh, and as always, we got we got producer Low in the building. So, look, sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. You know, I, I, right. I, I'm in the shadows. More right. Than the <laughs> okay. uh, but more in the dark. <laughs> the, the, what we talking about today is is near and dear to producer Low's heart. So oh, yeah. it, it's probably it's, it's been damn near a three man cast tonight. So let's let's, let's let's. I shed a tear when y'all proposed this because it's like I always tell the story of like like my my uh, abrupt entry into adulthood, but like this, you know. You know, say give me a second to just kind of marinate in this, you know. He jumped off the porch as a wee lad. Yeah, but that was a little mustache. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but yeah. but but without further ado, Jones, Jones Jones get us into it. Yeah yeah. You know there there's a couple of things that are just interesting that are going on, particularly for today. And you know I don't I don't know when we're, we're going to post this, so it might not be relevant on that day. But you know today we're recording on July sixth, twenty twenty three. And this is 25 years to the day because we're equal opportunity uh, blurs, uh, uh, particularly to wrestling. Mm-hmm. So Bill Goldberg, he faced Hollywood Hulk Hogan uh, on Nitro in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, and he toppled the Hulkster uh, and beat him for the world title for the first time. And it was, I, I, I remember this day. I remember watching Nitro this day. And I was Me too. Back. I was I was one of those that flipped back and forth between Raw and, and Nitro Same. and like, but when this was happening, like I was like, okay, let me just let me sit with this. And yeah, there was a lot of stuff going on, probably a little overbooked, but like, really, like the core of it, you know, the fact that he beat him and he beat him, you know, fully with his finisher and everything. He kicked out of like three leg drops and. <laughs> Yeah, Carl Malone was also in there too. And I remember I do remember that. And, I don't uh, remember Carl yeah. Malone being a part of that, but I do remember the match. Yeah, yeah because uh Kurt Henning Carl uh, fucking he was, Malone. He was coming down and he was about to, you know what I'm saying, help Hulk Hogan. Uh and then Carl Malone uh and DDP came down and Carl Malone gave him a diamond cutter. So this was like right before that match, that the the tag team match. Oh yeah, had. that the at Bash um, at the Beach, right? Yeah, yeah, the the, the Rodman, Hogan, uh, Carl Malone, and DDP. And 
you know, it was it was random as hell, but like it just added to the oh yeah, like this is something new, this is something great, this is you know, so twenty five years a day. And something I, I noticed, like that I didn't really realize before, he he never he never faced Hogan again. Like Hogan never, because you know, like Hogan is always about getting his lick back. So, oh, he probably, he probably, he's he only, probably didn't he only, want his ass beat. He realized like he was he was over the hill at that point, and Goldberg came in jacked. Like like he was Brock Lesnar before Brock Lesnar, as far as like right. physique wise. Like nobody was all those WCW dweebs was like all washed up at that point. Like they wasn't do unless you was like Perry Saturn, but he was like four foot nine. So it's like <laughs> Saturn, right. I wonder he might have jumped the sh- jump ship already at that time. I'm thinking, no, 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 no I think that was like that was 2000, 2000. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm just, I'm just speaking was, as far as like, like, cause no, you're right. Like you're y'all right. say, like, like the thing, w- w- what we always liked in wrestling was to see the titans kind of battling in, in, in like the specimen of, of like the heavyweights going at it. But dudes had on like, you know, what I'm saying like regular outfits and stuff, and they was like, most of them had beer bellies at WCW. <laughs> if we being honest. <laughs> Like, right. like, because when you, yeah, I think when you're younger, you did want to see the 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 big meaty men slapping meat. Slap, shout out to <laughs> Big E. I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah, yes, that's that's that's, that's big, it. But big, I think big big you, get man, older, you get older if you if you lose interest in wrestling, or you just got older with wrestling and you came back or whatever. Um, you realize the the big muscle heads are guys. A lot of times, those guys can't really wrestle. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, but struggle. I, a couple observations regarding that match. Uh, number one, you said Carl Malone. I forgot he was a part of that, but that is crazy how they make Carl Malone the hero when I realize he's a <laughs> shitty person. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> just yeah. a terrible yeah. person. Fucking Carl Malone. Yeah. And, and, if, and if you don't know, just do your Googles, folks. Just right. do your Googles. Google it. Um, oh, my goodness. Also, I just remember they threw so much damn trash into the ring at that oh, time. Yeah. Like, why did people do that? For like, Carl Malone. It I, was Carl Malone. Niggas, they no, knew. it was just Hogan and Goldberg in the win. I'm like, are you happy he won? Are you mad Hogan lost? I'm it's, so it's, it's funny because they did the same thing at Bash at the Beach when Hogan turned. They yeah. Did that, they did that too, where they threw a bunch of garbage in, in the ring. I mean, for obvious reasons, because Hogan turned, joined, joined the Outsiders. And they just, they just were one of, one of my favorite tag but teams. One of my favorite. But I also, I also oh, think just during that time, that was just a popular thing to do because there's always that yeah, popular gif weird. of Shawn Michaels walking to the ring and someone threw a soda at him and he just took it in stride like the G that he is. Yeah. Or he's probably coked out of his mind. He probably didn't even realize it. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah, let's uh, say what it is: professionalism. <laughs> professionalism. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like, hey, that means they hate me. This works. But it's funny. He's professional it's about that, but he was a huge asshole. <laughs> in every other avenue of his life at that time. Don't want to go back too much in it. You know, you can find all about that on, on Let Me Book the Territory. Correct. Uh, uh, but uh, another years, observation, man. that may have been one of the most unselfish things Hulk Hogan has done in his entire career. And he's incredibly selfish to, oh, yeah. to, to, to put, to, unless he really thought, like you said, oh, okay, I'm going to get it back at some point. I'm going to go through this side feud with a NBA with NBA stars. That's going right. to make me look good, brother. I don't need to right. do it right now. Yeah, and he had that uh, uh, fake stint where he said he was going to retire. He was going to, you know, run for president, which was all just, re- just hype for no reason. And you know, uh, one thing that I'll I'll know that's more of like an insider thing is that uh, people always blame, and I don't know this for sure. I'm just speculating, but you know, everybody always complains because the next time, you know, uh, like when Goldberg loses the title, he loses it to Kevin Nash. Mm-hmm. Uh, because of some, you know, uh, interference, like always. And the then people Kevin complain Pride. and say, oh, Kevin Nash booked himself to win. And then the finger poke of doom happened. And then Nash has always said, like, I was not I was not the booker. That was not me. Why would I do that? Because that makes me look stupid. Why would I book myself to win over Goldberg through a cattle prod with Scott Hall and then lay down for Hogan? Why would I, why would I do that? Why would I be the one? So I, I think it was Bischoff and Hogan, you know, like just so that I don't have to face Goldberg again, like and and, and look bad and, and you know, if he's not and because Goldberg like took himself a little too seriously back then, especially, he was like, nah, just you know, just do this little trade over and I ain't gotta deal with him. So that's what I, I think will I, think. I will say one more thing about it before you move on. One thing Hogan was right about regarding that match is he said that was kind of the start of the downfall of WCW. Oh. Because instead of having that on a pay-per-view, they had it on a random Monday yeah. Nitro. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. For no reason. Yeah. For no reason. That should have been a pay-per-view. People would have spent 
a gazillion dollars on on buying that pay-per-view to see that match. Instead, you know, Bash at the Beach has him in the just the like Carl Malone and Dennis Robin are not they were not wrestlers. They were not they did not look good. It was just it, Yeah, it was yeah. Absolutely. So that wasn't it. That was but, not um, it. So the next thing I just wanted to mention really briefly because it's sort of big, huge news. Uh, uh, I basically, I, I have the notes here. Every, everybody's threading in and I'm not talking about eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> and so I don't know if y'all, I, I know, I know, Lo, I know you're on there because it looked like you, you, you did this, some, some beef. <laughs> no, no, no. I've, you, no I've been, you let people know. I've, I've been waiting on this. So, so like, if we being real, the podcast idea, like many people to this day, started from Twitter because I did college radio and when I graduated, I couldn't find a microphone like, cause I wasn't getting no, you know, you don't just get a radio job fresh out of college or whatever. Right. right. So I just entertained my people who knew me from college on Twitter. Storytime with low was a big segment. I, I had um, like Skeeter monologues or whatever, where I just be just going off about stuff and it was a hit. And so I did this, like everybody else. If I came up with a podcast, would y'all listen? And sure enough, they did. And so that's so you know I I kept my audience engaged for like four years on Twitter before mm-hmm. I launched the podcast and then went on from there. Now, s- Twitter s- slowly started to deteriorate, and then my love for it and, and and like capturing the same audience and all that disappeared. So I have been trying to and and, and free knows this in the other group chat. Like I've been trying to like reassert myself into Twitter. It just don't feel the same. It's like going back to play an old video game that you already beat, right? So it's just mm-hmm. like yeah. And then I was like, all right, well, I just got to revamp my Twitter. Of course, there's a lot of filth on there. Some of it's self-imposed. Some of it just, I didn't ask for this. So I I don't even want to open the app because I'm out somewhere and it, bam, pussy. Just titties. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, not even titties, because titties just like, oh, okay, whatever. In Europe, that's that's classy. But, like, yeah. it's just full on, like, 15 dudes banging a chick in the face. Like, it's just like, yeah. bro, I'm, I'm at dinner. And so yeah, I was like. All times, yo. Yeah, and I'm like, it's like Tumblr. And I'm like, bro, I don't, I don't want no parts of this. So I, I was like, eh, I know I got to do it. I know I got to do it. And then as I kept watching, I'm like, okay, this shit is going to like implode at some point. And then bam, safe alternative. You know what I'm saying? So here we are. So I'm reasserting myself again, like the rebrand. Yeah. See, I'm on the fence about, what is it, Thread? See, I sound, oh, what threads. is it, that them, them, them youngsters is on Thread? The yeah. Threads? The thre- they got the Threads. <laughs> the Threads. But they actually, but they actually put, the, put the S on it. So, yeah. you know, I think they was preparing for us to. <laughs> right, because we was going to put an S on it anyway. <laughs> See, exactly. I, I'm on the fence because I told myself when Twitter goes down, I'm going down with the ship and I'm not going anywhere else. <laughs> I'm going to be the dude on the, I'm going to be the dude on the Titanic playing the violin. <laughs> like, because I don't need any more distractions in my life. Right. Uh, after my son was born, I find myself on my phone less and less. I think Instagram is probably the perfect social media platform for me because I can look and scroll really quick, see a couple cool things, click on some pictures, uh, look at a couple stories and then put it down and go back to watching my son, keeping him from doing a cartwheel off the kitchen <laughs> table or something. Right. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, I, I, I think you just had a certain age of your life where you keep Facebook, even though you don't want it. I think yeah. younger folks are, are way quicker to delete Facebook than older folks are. So it's like, well, oh, I got family members on there. I'm well, not, well, see, I'm not deleting. Face, I got, I got Facebook, on there. Facebook had turned into my Twitter for, for a minute, but even then mm-hmm. I just kind of pulled back from that too, because I was tired of just arguing with people in the comments on stuff. Like it's just, Oh it yeah. I stopped. Yeah. I realized a few, a long time ago that being on Facebook too long is not good for, for my health. I'm tired of arguing with people that I probably had two interactions with in high school mm-hmm. about stupid shit. But they think I they know, know you. More quali- yeah, that I feel like I'm more qualified. I not I feel I know I'm more qualified to talk about than no, they no, are. No, no, no. But but, uh, but because they knew you from high school, they feel qualified to have that conversation with you. Like, well, they mm-hmm. thought they knew me. I probably didn't have a single conversation with them, and then all of a sudden we're on Facebook. We're supposed to be cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got tired of doing that. That's why I'm rarely on Facebook. I'll post an article and go. Um, I got rid of Snapchat a long time ago. I think Snapchat's just for perverts now. So, I told you. Yep. 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 So I uh, mean, I still have one, but don't 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 think of me that way. We, why I we think of you caveat. that way? I deleted my Snapchat years ago. I, but I have to give a caveat though, because I told myself I'll never go on TikTok, and I'm on TikTok. And I gotta say, some of the funniest videos I've ever seen in my life, I've seen on TikTok. So, so I'll say this, and kind of to Jones' point, I. 
anything that, that like Snapchat, I was like, I'm not about to get all crazy on Snapchat because once Facebook, aka Meta, figures out how to how to mimic that, I have what I need. And then on all of these apps, we That's just exactly talk. What we just talking to the same people anyway. So remember when Vine yep. came out? Yep. When Instagram came out, I don't need a Vine because I have Instagram. When Instagram started letting you make videos, there literally was no need for Vine. People was like, oh no, you still need Snapchat. When when, when <laughs> Facebook, I mean, when Instagram starts to let you put stories and and all that up. It's like, mm-hmm. okay, I don't need Snapchat Game anymore. Over. Then now, yes, TikTok will, is a sensation because of like the length of, and of like other videos and what you can do. But a lot of people, it, when they let you do reels on Instagram it, and on Facebook, then there was no need for TikTok now too. A lot, but a lot of people stayed because the algorithms were open. It's easier to go viral on TikTok when you do the stuff that you do. Yeah. Okay, but still, you talk to the same people, and there's no real traction from a from a brand standpoint because you can get awareness, but you're not necessarily getting people to buy your stuff off of there. They damn and here near we are break with Twitter. new music. Well, not damn near. They do. They break new music on TikTok. There's damn near charts. Yeah. For TikTok music that's trending on TikTok, it's damn near a they have annoying, chart for that. They have no annoying ads now too. Uh, that yeah. Just well, pop well up as I'm watching a video and I gotta look. Oh, it's sponsored. I'm like, what is this? Oh, it's sponsored. But but like I'm saying, as a, as a career marketer. I'm always looking at like what is the actual business benefit of this. Now we know a lot of this shit is brand awareness, but then when you're trying to make money, money is how do we drive conversions, right? Mm-hmm. That that's that's as a small business or or like an up and coming brand and stuff. Yes, I want brand awareness, but also I'm trying to make money off this shit now. Off, I want to make money off of the attention. You know what I'm saying? And I hate to say I hate to use this analogy, Jones. I know this is this is close to home, but it's like. It's like when uh, people that have Samsungs or Androids complain about features they've had for years, and then Apple finally does it. But yeah. everyone is excited by Apple, um, and I'm I'm not picking sides. I, I don't do that culture war. I like I've had both, and I like no. both. Um, I just got to just Apple like, like yeah, ago, Apple so. either markets it better or they perfect it, and people just gravitate towards that. Yeah, and you also know, some people are sheep. But anyway, I, you know, let's I not mean, get that into, too. That, that too. That too. <laughs> of course. I, th- there's of course. no denying that, sir. There's no. Denying I'm not. That. I'm not going to judge you because your your text message is great, and I'm not going that far. Some people are I like I can't. You. Even interact with someone with a great. I still I I'm still like, be liking stuff though, cause like you know it'll it'll just say low gross liked. Yeah, uh, right, right. Message. That is like, annoying. It you is. Guys do fuck up. You do got you guys do fuck up group chats. I, I'm sorry to say. It but. do. But hey, the, I, I the got love new, is still I, there. I got a new text app that allows. For, I don't know if you if it if it at all changes your side of the experience, but it's changed my side of the experience. I don't like when you liked. Uh, uh, like text messages, mm-hmm. or you put a you know a laughing emoji or whatever. I can see that now. I don't see the, the boxes the with the I little just found boxes. An app. So you might as well just get an so, iPhone if you got to get an app. Well, though. like that's <laughs> it's it's fine. I just don't use the old app, so I just use the new. Uh, whatever. Understood. I'm here. I'm Congratu- here. I'm here. Con- congratulations, there. <laughs> congratulations. I mean, <laughs> understood. Understood. Now, I, but, uh, now, but but I'll say because I mentioned it with TikTok. The reason why I hopped on Threads right away is because i'm like well early adopter this time around i'm like well maybe i could use this to like jump the algorithm if you will so that's how i was looking at this time around i'm like all right i could do that so get more eyes on the product yeah that's why i'm all in this Mm -hmm. time otherwise i would be like free and just be like nigga that out of here and and the other thing with thread i heard that that's kind of enticing is i heard it brings your followers with you from instagram yeah you just import your instagram so you ain't even gotta now One thing that I saw somebody post and I thought was a very good idea so that it doesn't turn into the same old app. You don't know. You can. And I I was told needs this. So I've been going through unfollowing people from Instagram. Like just because I followed you on Instagram, I want a different experience on this app. So like I'm curate your, your timeline or where your algorithm based on what you want. And and, and I encourage everybody to do that. We're going to talk about this on the main part too, but like I encourage everybody to like curate it to what you want instead of just getting caught up in, in the, in the echo chamber of of society all the damn time. Like, yeah. So I, I accidentally did that in the beginning because I was like, Oh, okay. That means it's simple. So I don't have to, like build up yeah. you know my followers all over again i could just bring people in I, and i realized too that like it brought it, like everybody yeah, yeah like, it's like you know like, what? even the people actually, you were trying to forget about yeah actually actually i'm i'm, I'm pulling you you know i'm, yeah. I'm, I'm you didn't make the cut out. you didn't make the cut sorry <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but i I'm, I'm enjoying it so far because it feels you know to me like early like early twitter like it, it feels uh like you're actually able to see the posts from the people that you follow and not like all the just 
just the nonsense that they repost or like yeah. like it feels more like I'm 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 back to talking to the people that I follow or the people that I know. And it, you know, or at least for right now, at least, and I know that this will probably change well, uh, as time goes on, but I think, there's I no think ads, yeah. there's no bots, there's no like random strange weirdos that are trying to add you like literally. And I'm, and I, you know, I'm not famous, you know, mm -hmm. and, and you know, I have, you know, six or seven people every day that are out adding me and ain't posted nothing ever. Right. You know, and I'm just like, you are suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> well, well I, I'll say this: Don't hold your breath, though, because I feel like that we just the first infiltrate, if you will. They about yeah, to they yeah, about to yeah. have all that other bullshit coming right behind because they every, <laughs> everybody start asking, "Wait, so are we being weird on here or not?" And my thing is, if you gotta ask, <laughs> and I, I even made a post. I said, "Don't get everybody." Oh, finally, I can express myself. No, that's what we thought no, about no. Twitter back in the day when we first started. And exactly. when they started digging up people's old tweets and stuff, I said, "Don't go getting canceled in the first three months." Chill. Right. Behave yourself. You Act like you've been you, here before. And look, you you know people how how attached people are to the Instagrams and the photos that they have there, what they have going on there. In order to get rid of threads, you got to get rid of your Instagram. Right. We signed a deal you know? to death row now. Like like we in now. It's one <laughs> It's blood in. It's blood out. Like we can't go nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, we we're 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 stuck with it now that we start. But you know, I, I think it's cool for right now. Yeah. You know, it's giving me a break from some of the twitter and you know i i think i just posted this uh early today i said you know twitter like you know i i'm not i'm not completely out but you know you don't thin out ice pile like, I, I, was you're, you're I was already you're almost there i was already out i was already out on twitter <laughs> man because it just like i said like and even you you mentioned it too being able to integrate your followers over i didn't like having to like rebuild from scratch or then even the people like or the little community that i would because i think a lot of that's how like a lot of network true networking back in the day was formed because people just was interesting conversations or we was commenting yeah. on the same stuff a lot of those yeah. people quit on twitter so i didn't have nobody else to talk to then when i would like start to strike up a conversation or jump in i look like the old dude walking up hey can i get two weeds please and it's just like <laughs> and i just felt like nah this ain't cool no more i'm, I'm used to i at three o'clock i'm telling you jones at three o'clock when I was working my job fresh out of college, everybody, would, they will be hitting my phone. All right, so we about to get another story time with Lo. Three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm like, all right, let me kill some time here. Y'all want to hear story time with Lo? I had a couple hashtags, dramatic head swivel, which was basically like the WeeBay term where he found out that, that the girl was the cop, where he was like, damn. So in the middle of the yeah. story, I, I, I lure him in, and then I'll just be like, dramatic head swivel. There were two of them, and everybody was like, oh, my God, this nigga's funny. Ah. So, oh my gosh! But yeah, no, it it, it it was cool. I'm hoping this will be cool, but I I'm tell you, I don't have faith in people. I feel like they're gonna like it's gonna be a weekend before they gonna fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, I'm I'm I don't know how long we gonna make it uh, through. Uh, because yeah, like I, I noticed uh, what you said too is that like you know people are like trying to test the waters and like oh you know like uh, and then bring bring those Twitter conversations like talking about key palmer and talking about yeah. stuff. and someone yeah. was like don't mm -mm, don't bring it over here this is this, this is not the place for that yeah but, but, but you know like they they take out the little square bottle like but but this is but, but this is my thing though this is what i don't get about like us as a society and, I, and again i sound like i'm on my soapbox but like we complained it's like we the pilgrims almost like we complained about like like conditions and stuff over here and we don't want this and we don't want that so we pack up our boat and we go somewhere else now whatever they did when they got there we know it was some bullshit so i ain't compare that part but the fact that we touched down on plymouth rock and then we start doing the same old bullshit that we just left it, i think it's just like human nature to just be like oh well the coast is clear now i guess we can do it over <laughs> here in peace it's like no nigga be better be better and i, I made a post too i was like um if you was a bitch ass nigga on Twitter, you still a bitch ass nigga over here too. Like it's not gonna change. That shit sticks with you until you boss up and do better. For real. For so real. don't don't come over here thinking that you can like like get away with nah nigga. We we saw you. We seen it. Okay. <laughs> seen you. <laughs> right. Uh. What up, though? It's your boy Low Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeto, and I'm here to let you know you just stepped into the Inaudiverse. That's right. We got four shows every week that we keeping y'all entertained with, man. We got the, the Music Impulse with Smiles. We got Bench Flicks and Chill with E-Ray. 
We got Let Me Book the Territory with A Dub, J Mo, B A, and E Ray. Then we got the Skeeters podcast with me and Neezy. And then we got the main show, the uh, Inaudible Ruckus, man. So y'all just know we got y'all surrounded, man. Every day of the week, you're going to have some drops from us, man. We got music that we're working on, man. We got other shows that's in development, man. So it's just like exciting times here at the Inaudible Ruckus Network, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out these shows, man. IR presents the Inaudiverse. <laughs> So yeah, like like let's 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 get into it. You know what our what our topic is for today. You know, um, like Free said, uh, uh, Lowe's really excited. I, I I got really excited too as I was putting together our outline. And I see. I, I feel like it's uh, it's one of these important topics to to address as uh, you know um, as nerds, black nerds, and um, you know. Uh, you don't get a you don't get the opportunity to talk about it very much. Nah, you don't get to talk about your 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 this specific part of your of of your childhood, right? So you know, my my first question before you know, I give a little bit of like background and we can kind of talk through some of, some of the background you know I was gathering for us is <clears throat> when I think of being a nerd, when I think of it, I was thinking of it in like in terms of the way hip hop has its, you know, uh, its elements. Like hip hop has, you know, MCing, DJing, break dance, okay. graffiti. Like nerddom kind of has some pillars too, and toys is, is one of these pillars. Mm. So, you know, do, I see you, that. Okay. do you think that that do you think that that's a uh, an accurate way of looking at, you know, uh, the way toys are important, especially you know as you're growing up, but as like sort of one of those pillars, like with comic books and cartoons and trading cards and video games. Like these are kind of like the pillars that, you know, are, are found a lot in, 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 in a lot of people's nerd and like I would say, yeah, but I would probably take it a step further. I would say kind of like, and we talked about this on the, on the main show, how hip hop has kind of had sub genres. Like, like it's been around long enough where it has sub genres now. Mm-hmm. Like rock and roll has subgenres, so you got your 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 trap rap, you got your 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 coke rap, you got gangster rap, you got mm-hmm. emo rap. So I might not like all these different subgenres, but there's some I gravitate to. Like I might not like Dungeons and Dragons, and you know we've had our experience with that, Jones. <laughs> but but I like but I like com- I like comic books, and I like wrestling, and I like video right. games. You know, yeah. I might I might not like you know Magic the Gathering, but uh, I had Pokemon cards. You know. Uh, so right. I, I, I like it. I liken it to that. So, yeah, like there's pillars, but it's like you don't have to be in each one of those yeah, right. well, and, subcategories to be in this identity and to yeah. understand what other people are are, are going through and living. And you don't have to poo poo it either. You could just right. be like that. Okay. That's not for me. If y'all like it, cool. I'm I'm glad you found something you like. I, it's just not for me. Well, well, I think that on the on this topic, as far as the toys go. <clears throat> It also depends on your experience too, because like, like everybody didn't have toys or all of the toys, right? right? Like, like right. And we'll get into it, but like, think about it. If you got a house full of brothers and stuff, you don't get to collect the whole set, and, and you get little one offs and this and that. You don't get to have everything, or they get smashed up, or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. So you don't get to now. I understand what you're saying as far as having toys allows for you to kind of like world build. And allow for you to like see what you saw on TV and recreate that with your toys, or see what you saw on the video game or on the cartoon. But if you, it's a house full of kids and all that, no, nigga, like, like you know, it's it's one of those. It's a headache because you're trying to protect it from everybody. And I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll test that. Oh. You know, for for me, uh, because I I spent so much time kind of kind of almost kind of being an only child mm-hmm. because uh, my my two oh. sisters are so far away from me uh and i and i had two sisters so i didn't have brothers uh and the the people that i played with my other than my you know other than my you know playing with the toys by myself like i would take them and, and you know i would I, I i went so far as to like i would take them over people, other people's houses but i would like oh i would protect oh, you them brave my life uh brave. and i would take them to school and i like we had to be super secretive because you couldn't yeah, yeah you couldn't take towards school to bringing them to school you know, but like we would like we had our own little spot and we would have our stuff and we would oh you got that you got that I got this and you know what I'm saying it would be uh, just a fantasy playland like it would be like we'd be having a lot of fun but um, but yeah I, I just was thinking is like oh yeah like 
I I experienced or I like I touched on a lot of these elements. Not mm -hmm. not all of them stuck, but I feel like and and you know, even as we're talking about it now, I don't have any of that stuff anymore. Right. Like I, I passed it down to to my nephew and so, to cousins and stuff like that. But Jones, it still, I tell like, you, was a big part of me. You know, I I, t I was known for my toys as a kid. Like I was legendary in the hood because I w I so I had a bunch of cousins, but I was my mom's only child. So I had all the toys. Like all of them, and I would not let anybody <laughs> touch my fucking toys. And it wasn't to be selfish; it's because, like you said, other people didn't like they didn't have toys, so they would just take them. And, and I say this because we here. This is the perfect episode for this. They just take them <laughs> and smash them together, and it's like, bro. And then not only that, here's the here's the nerd shit coming out. They would have the toys doing shit that the toy Batman cannot fly all the way up here and come crashing down with Superman. It doesn't. That's yo. not realistic, right? Yo. And so I, I was policing my toys. Like I was like, hey, oh, hey, for sure. Hey, 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 now can't, you can't, you can't the, the broken down. Ninja Turtle with the broken arm and the broken gargoyle toy here, you could play with those. I, I would put like, all the, the the like the toys that would go to see it from Toy Story, or whatever. You can play with all the broken ones that ain't got no head and this and that. But all these over here, these are mine, and these are the three that I feel like that you could play. With with over there and smash together and I won't care. But no, because that shit costs money. Nigga, you got the whole set and all that. Nigga, ain't about to smash my shit up. Right. <laughs> Go take your ass home. For, for me, it was more like a kind of a shared experience because growing up, I was always at my, my grandma's house and, you know, in the summers, like uh, my cousins, my grandma watched all of us. Me, my cousins, my sister, all of us. So, well, I had my toys, they had their toys, and we would all come together and play in my grandma's garage, and okay. it just became like a island of misfit toys because everybody's stuff <laughs> got mixed together. So we were playing with everything. Like, was mine, was yours, was yours, was his, was his, was his. That's was how you mine, lose your mine. favorite toy, though, man. You end up, you look at, a lot of times, where's Batman? Yeah. And Batman up the street. Like, like, right, go. right. Or a toy <laughs> broke and don't nobody know how it broke, but somebody broke it. Uh, so it was, it was a lot of that. But yeah, those, those, were, those were fun times. And it led to in high school, everyone was sharing clothes. Like my shirt, I have my shirt would be at my cousin's house for months at the time. I done forgot about it. I got a pair of shoes. I don't even know whose these shoes are. They're like a size too small, See? but I still wear them because nah. they look dope. Nope. So <laughs> nope. See, so Joan's background, like you see how you got the whole set there? I was that kid mm -hmm. who like, all right, I gotta collect them yeah, all and I stuff. I, had, I literally, I literally Googled so that I could find the set that I had. And this yes. is, I had this. Yes. Now, you, know, you see that Wolverine? That's vintage Wolverine toy right there, right? I did not have that Wolverine because somebody broke it. <clears throat> and so I had a mismatch. How do you, how can you play X-Men without Wolverine? And then I had the Logan character, which was broken too. And he's just had the jacket on and his arm. My granddaddy super glued his arm to be like this. And then somebody broke my Gambit's leg. And so then, like, my two favorite X-Men characters, I could not play with them because they were broken. I'm I'll pissed. Look, y'all got me riled I'll up. I'll, I'll tell you this. The, uh, it was kind of trash because the uh, his claws, they weren't they weren't separate. They right. were, like, actually together. Yep. They were actually, like, melded together. So, like, they had, like, this kind of, like, curvature. Yep. And it, so, and, and, and even, you know, you look at Archangel up there, like, his wings didn't move. They didn't, they didn't move this way. Like they mm -hmm. just and they shot they shot projectiles out the tip, but that spring was cheap and it broke. Yeah, so it, it was it was not. Good. Oh, I trust these, me. These were actually just no. not. They're not good quality toys. Like I, I I took care of my stuff, but it just they you know they weren't made very well. Um, but uh, not at nah, all. Like, well, you got me I, hyped I now. That, you got me fucking hyped. I, I think it's 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 so important because you know I, I like I, I didn't have everything um, but I, I had a lot I had a lot of things in a variety of different stuff you know I, I had a lot of X Men stuff because mm -hmm. you know there's just so many different types of X Men you know I ha I have my Batman's I have my Superman's yep. um, you know I had I had Transformers like I had He Man I had GI Joe I had uh, Matchbox cars like I had a, a, a variety so, so, of so wait Jones you you said Transformers. Did you have the Transformers Transformers or did you have a Beast Wars? I had I had both. Hey, um I hey, had that uh, was different. That's Beast, Beast different. Wars yeah. was also different. Because those toys, stuff. those toys wasn't the it, it was a shift. Because they didn't just do the pull the tail and it just like turn no, you had to follow the directions. If you didn't follow directions, you broke that shit and you would never transform ever again. It could be stuck in animal mode. 
No, yeah, like I had I had the I had the Megatron, so he uh Beast Wars one and um he was a dinosaur uh He's a T Rex. Yep, yep. And then, mm-hmm. like he turned up and he had like the thing that was pointing it out and um uh yeah my, my cousin definitely broke um the Optimus on. Prime one was was a, was and a then, motherfucker and then, and then, too. And then and then he was never a, 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 a T Rex ever again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just Megatron. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, but Megatron. The, with that time too, there was also dope Happy Meal toys. So a lot of my toys yes. were yep. supplemented by Happy Meal toys. I remember they had McDonald's had a promotion with Marvel, and I through that I had like the Human Torch. Mm-hmm. There was like a Incredible Hulk one. I think there was a thing one. If I now, can remember with correctly. those toys, you didn't have full movement of their limbs, but yes, they, they were still. <laughs> but it was toys. still like this is the fucking human torch. Like even though he was tiny too, he was like this big and your average. Like all right, yeah. He, yeah here's yeah, one I, of the three toys that you can play with. Right. <laughs> and, um, and, did you, and did you ever have to deal with like uh, oh, oh yeah I'm gonna get the happy meal I'm gonna get another one and like and you get the same same one, one. same oh, one, one yeah. Yep. Can I? Can we get another? Can we try right. it? No, this is the only one. Or, we got. This um, one. they had they had a uh, collaboration with Beast Wars too. Yep. So I think they had like what is the what was the rat rat attack? What was his name? <sighs> rat trap. Uh, rat, rat trap or rat yeah, trap. rat trap. Rat so trap. they had that one. I remember having that. They one. They had Optimus so. Prime as a bat. They had the the warthog one, and they had something else. Bro, I was so there. Yeah, those, I was were, there. those were dope. Those were dope too. I was there. Yeah. And you know, it, it's it all kind of translated into the fact that uh, why I think like I think of them all together because oftentimes like you know they 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 translated from comic books or you know they made them specifically or different types of stuff. So like, I had this this Superman that was like in the snow or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like it when is when is why does superman need a special suit for the snow so they just do that to you know they do they did things like that and they partner with fast food and yep. you know uh they they do things sometimes specifically in the cartoon just so that they can make a toy yeah or you know uh him to do all them damn batmobiles bro they had yep. every single Yo. fucking batmobile the bat cave the little play sets that came I, with i it. had the the Batmobile from Batman Returns. Remember that scene in the movie where yes. it split, it separates. Yes. Yeah. So I had that Batmobile. <laughs> no, I, 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 I had that Batmobile. I had the Batman the Animated Series one. Yep. Um, I'm sorry. And I had the the one from Batman Forever. You know the one that like lit up. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. all of those were fire when we were kids, and then I'm, I'm grown now. And then I went back one time, and my cousin had the the one from like Batman Begins or like the the, the, the Dark Trilogy or whatever, the Dark Knight shit. And I'm like, yeah, bro, the Tumblr. Yeah, I'm like, bro, that shit hard. Nigga, if I would have yeah. had that as a kid, let's get this shit out of here. Yeah. Bro. That shit was. I'm like, this is a dog, even as a toy, nigga. Like it had all the little missiles on there and shit, like. Right. Hey, let me get that. Like, I ain't got nowhere to play with it at, but nigga, I just want right. to. Right. I just want to. Let me. I'm gonna put it on display. Right. <laughs> You don't. And you, did y'all did y'all know that uh, uh, the term action figure, the term action figure, it didn't show up until the '60s. So mm. the the company that uh, uh, created like GI Joe, Hasbro, they basically came up with the term action figure uh, because uh, dolls, you know, or calling them dolls seem too feminine and like mm-hmm. you know. Both parents and you know certain boys were like, nah, I, I ain't just playing on dolls. So I they, believe that. they created this term <laughs> in 1964, action figure. Like this, we about that action. Like it's, yeah. it's a, you know, saying we got guns and pistols and tanks and you know, what I'm saying like this is you know how they sort of directed things and um, that 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 shifted things in a, in, a, in a lot of different directions. And I'll and I'll get into a little later about. You know our personal experiences with you know the toys that we played with and what we were not allowed to play with or what mm-hmm. we weren't allowed to ask for uh but i'll get to that later but you know i i felt like or i feel like maybe just because i'm not in, as interested that there's that the, i thought that there was some kind of decline but uh no there's there's not a decline so you know pulled up i pulled up some statistics from uh, the Toy Association, I didn't even know that existed. Man. Uh, uh, you know, in the last four years, this is a this is a this is a twenty two billion dollar industry still. Now they are counting like a lot of stuff, like not just 
action figures and dolls, but like a, a wide variety of different types <clears> of things. It's, I think it's really hard to separate a lot, a lot of the different types. Do you of just there are. surface level wise? Do you think it's more so like people collecting them for memorabilia purposes and just kind of like, like keeping them like they ain't even taking them out the package. They just have them just to kind of display them. Oh yeah, I, I, okay. I absolutely think that there's. And, and, and like that's also sort of like a generational thing like i don't know how many kids are still playing with toys the way that we played with them mm-hmm. um as much as there are you know uh 40 and 50 year olds who are buying collectibles and, and you know keeping parts of the industry up, you know um yeah still on, I, so. it's probably a little bit of both most likely that's what it seems like and then yeah because the other statistics where it, it's it's um from 1992 to 2021 like you know there there's this hump um you know uh in the you know late 90s and stuff like that like you know uh and then it kind of goes down for a little bit and then it jumps back up and then it went way down and then it's jumped back up to to the point where it is now you know 20 mm-hmm. 22 billion dollar uh- I would probably say a lot of that has to do with like the onset of franchises too. You know, all movies are want to be franchises. So you yeah, got, you know, the MCU, you yep. got the, the DC movies, you got Star Wars, you got it's literally uh, part of they the are, they are pumping it yep. out. Yeah, yep. the Jurassic yep. Park yep. movies are back, like all all this stuff. It's a package deal. Like mm-hmm. you, you don't you don't make a superhero film without having some element to where there are toys. A toy in a video game. And I think video games have become a part of it too, because you see a lot of Super Mario stuff now. I saw they got the fucking Rainbow Road Hot Wheels here. I was like, I wish Miles was like a few years your older. I would have for sure bought that for him and played with it more than he would. Um, well, you was about to say something? Well, no, I, I was gonna say because you talked about like the different dips, and I and I didn't want to jump ahead, but I I feel like video games have evolved. And remember, like we said earlier, a lot of the reasons like having the toys was to kind of world build and kind of act out stuff from our favorite characters. But now because video games are a little bit more immersive now and right. the, the graphics are, are more realistic, it's like and the controllables, you can literally smash into shit all you want and you ain't got to worry about it breaking because you just plug it into the controller now versus the actual action figures or the figurines. So that, I, I'm wondering if that like w- would play a factor on it because I know kids are still buying toys. But again, if I got the video game and it's an open world concept on the video game, the fuck I need to play with these toys for? Oh yeah, wrestling video games like you know, um, you know RPGs like you know, there's just there's so much, uh, and yeah, that that makes perfect sense to me. And also, I think it's socio economic too though because you know some households can't afford you know a system, so hey, the toys uh, a lot cheaper. I'll just get you some toys. You just play with your toys because. Uh, you know, still, you see in some neighborhoods, kids are outside playing. Kids are, you know, running around with with action figures and dolls and things. I was like going to ask you, are our kids still outside? Are our kids outside playing? Like, it it depends where you're at. I think, and I think another thing is the social economics. <laughs> I think, yeah, yeah, in uh, quote unquote hood areas, poor areas, Take you your see ass outside. kids outside playing because <laughs> you know they might not be able to afford a tablet or a computer or PlayStation, Xbox. You know uh and and so the kids got to make their own fun and i think it depends on household too because i think there's still households out there where it's like or at least they try like hey you're not gonna sit and play this video game all day so you're gonna have to do something else right to 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 keep your attention yep so i I wanted us to to advance a little bit more and um talk more specifically so i I mentioned a couple of different types of things that, that that i had um and uh free your 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 community toys what, what, what did you uh <laughs> what did you with? steal from the other kids <laughs> uh, to- toys that stood out for me i remember having this uh this t-rex from jurassic park and it had like a detachable like chunk of meat that yep. like showed his oh, rib yeah, yeah. i had yeah. that i had the what was it the the, the plot of the lithosaurus or the, the one the spitter yeah the spitter oh, yeah, dinosaur yeah. i had that it had like this made a sound too i had uh this kind of, it was more of a doll than an action figure, but it was still cool. It was Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe, <sighs> but it was like a, like kind of doll style. So it yeah, was G. bigger. G.I. Joes were were made like, because again, they, they go all the way back to the 60s. Like they're made like dolls. Like their clothes came off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 
they're but then made. there's the other G.I. Joes too that are smaller, that are more action figure, but they're smaller than the average yeah. action figure. Remember yeah. those? But those are the yeah. those are the originals, the, the, okay. the big taller ones that yeah, are yeah, like, yeah. that are basically Barbies, but you know, with military attire. Like, right. you know, that's what attire. that's what it was. That's, that's literally yeah. what it was. Let's make this as masculine <laughs> uh, and American as possible. Mm-hmm. Right. The bat the, the, the Batmo Bill I was telling you about. Um and then as I and I, I might be jumping the gun a little bit, but as I got older I gravitated more towards wrestling toys. So the different, you know, re- wrestling action figures and things like that. Uh those those were those were what I started to just kind of solely focus on. Mm. Oh, and I had a uh, the Power Ranger. You know, remember the Power Ranger action figure oh. where you could flip the head and yep. it would go from the human head Yo, to the yeah. Power Ranger head? Yeah. yeah. I think I, I forget. It was either I either had the Blue Ranger or the Black Ranger. I forget. And then I had a VR Trooper too. That was pretty cool. I, I used to like I VR, VR Troopers. Troopers. <laughs> we're advanced. I didn't have no VR Troopers, but I, had, <laughs> I definitely had. Uh, I had. I had the Green Ranger and I had the White Ranger, um, and uh, I even had the uh, the sword, the uh, the white the uh, uh, the White Ranger sword. The, I did too. The Tiger Saber. Yeah. The Tiger Saber. Yeah. yeah. And my dumbass thought my sister was was about to kill me because I was taking <laughs> a bath and then she threw the saber into the tub with me you know i'm thinking i'm watching movies when you throw electronic oh no, no stupid I, I, marcus i, I would have thought i was gonna die too. Into, it has to be plugged into the wall <laughs> he was like uh, yeah, yeah well, i'm dying i'm dying i think she low-key did try to kill you though like, yeah i was like you killed me you killed me you would have came back as the gold ranger though. right <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Uh. Well, what about you? What, I think you talked talk a little bit about. Oh, nigga, I had everything. What you mean? I had I had X Men, like all the like by the set. Like like I gotta get Cyclops. I gotta get this one. I gotta get that one. I gotta have the villains for them to go against. I had every Ninja Turtle. You know you can't just buy Leonardo. And then remember the turtles had like the Turtle Olympics. So I got all four of those when it came out. The sports version, all of those. The the back in time version where they was dressed up as samurais. The movie version. Like I had every rollout of Ninja Turtle toys that came out with, but specifically it was Ninja Turtles. I had them separated in the bins. All the Batman toys were in one. All the Ninja Turtles were in the other. All the X-Men ones was in another one. And then like I started to get Beast Wars and I had a couple wrestling toys. Right, but everything that I had and gargoyles too. Gargoyles was the shit. Um, everything I had though, I had the like the the Bat Cave to come with it, or the 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 Ninja Turtles sewer shit for them to be in. And and then, I, now the shit that made me hot on the block, I had the Blackbird. The, 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 oh, the, from X Men. The X Men shit where it, it was a three part console thing. Like it was the jet, but then it had the little missile launcher that broke off into a one thing. Then it, the the front turned into a little mini car, and then the middle I, part I, turned I, into a I, command I, station. Man, and I man, had that I shit. That that was like, can I come over your house? <laughs> that was Christmas. Man. That was Christmas. Uh, gift. It was fire. Oh, but we could have a whole episode on Ninja Turtles with you know, my mom was just talking. I was just talking to my mom maybe a week or two ago because I got uh, Miles a little uh, doll like a Michelangelo from the new Ninja, new mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles movie, like a little life size doll. Um, and she was like trying to get y'all Ninja Turtle stuff used to stress me out because yeah. like early 90s it was a phenomenon you know it was Ninja Turtles everything all these different variations and brands and things like that uh, another underrated thing that I had that I wish people would talk more about because it was so dope was I had a Mad Max little pocket thing remember Mad Max mm-hmm. it was like the male version of Polly Pocket yep. I didn't so, like, have that shit that him, was too close it was, it was like, too close to Polly Pocket no, but I say that because because the toy I'm it looks cooler on the commercial than in the real life because it's like a small like a little pocket thing you open up in its own little world and like it's Mad Max against the villain. But it had a cartoon that was dark as fuck for its time and for who it was marketed to. Yeah, that cartoon. And I say that because the finale of the show I don't think it lasted that long, but the finale of the show literally everyone dies in like traumatic ass ways that like. Had me like was this anime, key, nigga? What the fuck is low key there? But it has a happier ending because it's like the timeline resets at the end of the episode. But literally at the end, everyone dies. Like one of the goose gets eaten by like a giant spider. Like it's fucking Yo. dark. You you know what I'm talking about? I got, I got, I got to watch. I got to watch. But yeah, I, I ain't rewatching I that shit with it <laughs> because because there was old dude with you know the big sword. Uh, yeah, and there's the chicken fowl actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Matt, I got that word. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
<laughs> oh, Mad Max was a dope show. If y'all, if you can find YouTube, look up Mad Max. Uh, another thing I want to add, I had the Master P doll. Yeah, <laughs> I did because I was a big Master P fan uh, when I was growing up. And that's all I said. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. It didn't do shit else. Yo. But like, I, I definitely had a Master P. And, I, and again, it wasn't to play with. It just sat there and you just, hey, look, I got a Master P doll. Look yeah, what it does. felt like a real No Limit Soldier. Yeah, well, I wanted mm-hmm. to be. That's all I ever wanted I, to be when I, I grew up. I had, I had one of those, uh, 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 I had a Ninja Turtle, like, it was like kind of like this this battle vehicle. And it like, it, it really shot out pieces. And I had that. gave you these little discs. Yep. And then you put it in there, you, you load it in there. And I was I was shooting them things all over the place. My mom was so mad at me because yep. <laughs> I would I would shoot them just everywhere, and then the, the pizza just it had a good distance on it too. It'll shoot across the room. Places it will shoot across yeah, the room. But that was funny, fun, fun as hell. Um, uh, yeah, man. Uh, I, I you know, and, and I, the variety and just the ability to like immerse yourself into you know all these these different worlds. I don't think I had too many um, wrestling uh, uh, action figures. That surprises me. I, some of them were crappy. Like, you know, like I, when I was very young, I wanted uh, Stretch Armstrong. Uh, I had I one. I never got that. I, I, I put it on multiple. Christmas Overrated. Days. Yeah. Uh, and, After you uh, stretch and then, it, it don't go yeah, back. Because then it eventually tears and then that goo comes out and it looks like it's poison and you get scared and you just stop playing with it. Yeah, I, I, ha- I had a friend who had it, you know, after I'd wanted it for so long, and then I, I was like, but, um, um, yeah. you know, like, uh, I think I, I went to the video game route uh, than to, to, to have the actual action figure. Um, when, when did it, when did it stop? Like, when did you sort of realize and recognize, like, okay, like, I can't, I, I can't do this no more. This ain't cool no more. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I gotta save my money for different types of things. Like, when did it? Do you, do you remember the moment when it was like, oh yeah, it's over? I remember the moment. I just don't remember exactly when it was. It was either going into middle school or going into high school. I think going into middle school. <laughs> the flashback of as you can see, the fourth hasn't ended over here. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Thought someone was trying to take me out. Right. Are you good? We need to send some help. Hey, nah, well, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, but booty who? The, the, the force is strong with this one. Right. Right. I, I, I think it was going in the middle. I'm gonna give myself some bail. And I'm gonna say it was going in the middle school. <laughs> so I remember the moment too. Like I had all these wrestling. Totally, I'm only like two years older than him. But back then, that's still a pretty. That was big a lot, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I gave it to him, and I was like, I'm moving on with my life. What up, though? It's your boy, Low Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeto. And I'm here to let you know you just stepped into the Inaudiverse. That's right. We got four shows every week that we keeping y'all entertained with, man. We got this, the Music Impulse with Smiles. We got Bench Flicks and Chill with E-Ray. We got Let Me Book the Territory with A-Dub, J-Mo, B-A, and E-Ray. Then we got the Skeeters podcast with me and Neezy. And then we got the main show, the uh, Inaudible Ruckus, man. So y'all just know we got y'all surrounded, man. Every day of the week, you're going to have some drops from us, man. We got music that we're working on, man. We got other shows that's in development, man. So it's just like, exciting times here at the Inaudible Ruckus Network, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out these shows, man. IR presents the Inaudiverse. <laughs> But y'all got time? Has, has it stopped? <laughs> has it stopped? <laughs> yeah, World, World War Three is over over here for now. Oh, um, so with me, I, look, it was the summer uh, uh, 2002. I'll never forget it. I was out on the porch, babysitting my little cousin, and I had my toys. I gave him his little three. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to my dog, Zone 4 Weezy. You know what I'm saying? He came zipping past on his bike. He was in the middle of doing something he probably wasn't supposed to be doing or whatever. But he saw me on the porch and my dumb ass, hey, what's up? I ain't going to call him by his government name because we was kids at the time. This was before, like, I, again, I, I was still on the porch. I wasn't outside like that. I, like, I just knew people and that was it. His mans kept going. He, uh, I didn't realize he was using me as the, as the because whoever was after them, like, he just kind of stepped to the side or whatever and then, like, he just kept going. But he was chopping it up with me. And I'm and so I'm trying to instantly play it cool because like Weezy was the cool <laughs> kid, so like I'm like, oh yeah, what's up, man? 
He like, what you got going on? And I'm trying to like, I jump off the porch to, to so he wouldn't see that I had a whole uh, porch full of toys over here. I'll just babysit my little cousin. You know, see so those his toys and stuff. Yeah. And then he was like, yeah, we about to get into, you know, because he was out in the streets, man. He was hustling, doing his thing. Oh, yeah, we about to get into something a little later, man. Y'all going to bring the rim out? You know what I'm saying? We're going to come over here and shoot basketball later. I was like, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And he walked off. And I remember I remember this because it's changed. I robbed myself of my own childhood. And I was just like, man, I need to be out here getting money, too. I don't need to be sitting on the porch <laughs> playing with no damn toys. And so I walked back on the porch. And I sat there. And my little cousin was like, you know what I'm saying, playing. He's like, yeah, let's get that shit off my face. And I never forget, I bagged up all of my toys. I went home. I bagged up all of my toys, too. And I just put them shits in a bag in the basement. Threw, and I told you, I had a bunch of toys. We talking bins and bins of toys. Threw that shit in the basement and was like, nah, I'm out. Fuck this. Then I remember. So, secretly, I think it was like 10th grade. I was like, man, remember when I used to play with the toys and stuff? I called myself trying to pull some toys out. And I was like, yeah, trying to play. And my mama came home and was like, the fuck are you doing? And I was like. <laughs> that was the nail in the coffin. Yeah, but no, no, no. She looked and she was like, it don't feel the same, do it. I was like. <laughs> nah, I felt stupid. Like I was like, like man, grown ass man. I thought I was grown as fucking thirteen, and so arguably some would say I was. But like because of shit I was doing, I was like, yeah, I'm beyond this. I'm in the real world now. So and I just from there, and then that's when I gave them like not even just take them back in the basement, donated them. I was some little kid probably broke my 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 Iceman edition Batman. Like, like it was just crazy, bro. And I but I just never forget that. Like I literally, I just bagged my childhood up. Comic books, all of that shit. This was the end of my nerddom too, like, cause it's just like, wow. again, you kicking it outside, outside now, and yeah, you would talk about it, but don't nobody give a fuck about, you know, what I'm saying the Avengers comic back then. Like, maybe a nigga care a little bit about X Men, but when you go deep down the rabbit hole and all of that shit, ain't nobody listen to that shit. You know, say shut up, little nigga. What you doing? Go stand over there, like. So, and I just was like, nah, I'm good. So. Enough. But this this this, this why I like this episode because like it brings that shit back. It was like man, yeah. now it probably was time to give it up because if Free said he he was done by the time middle school came around. Technically, I was a late bloomer in Detroit by Detroit standards. Jumping off that late at thirteen, I should have been started when I was 10, 11. So you know what I'm saying? It wasn't gonna last too much longer anyway. I, I could be wrong. It could have been going into high school. I just don't remember playing with toys right around the time of high school. I think it was going into middle school, but. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. For me, it was all economic choices. Like I had to, um, you know, uh, I couldn't buy no more, and I wanted to continue to grow my my, my comic book empire, and <laughs> I wanted as well to keep up with video games. And when money came, like it, I'm now spending my own money right. on stuff. So right. like I can't, I can't ask for you know, money for this and for this, or I, you know, my allowance, I got to save it up to, to build up to, to buy, you know, $60 video games. I got to a point where, you know, I, I memorized the exact, it's 63, 24. Yep. Like I got to get that, you know, that money to get WrestleMania 2000 or whatever. And so I had to like make that choice. And I, I, I boxed my stuff up too. And I gave it to my nephew. I didn't give my comic books away like that. I, I helped. Well, he, and he, and he, was, and he was looking at him too. And he was looking at him too. He was like, oh, but what about, don't worry about that. Yeah. yeah young man. That's still me. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, See, and I that's wish, I, I wish I would have still kept my comics. I wish I, cause like even when free like like when we was talking and like you was bringing us some, I remember some of the ones that I had and all of that, and I'm like, bro, like this. I, now, as a kid, I didn't know what the fuck I was reading, right? But now going seeing like the adaptations and all that, and then I had an older cousin who was into the shit too, so I would just live it vicariously through him. Like when I had a break or something, just like go chill with him and let him explain it to me or whatever. But other than that, like I was over it. Yeah. And and like. Did you feel like uh, there were there were there were toys or things that you know you, you, you couldn't aside from the outgrowing it, mm -hmm. but like I, over time, did you feel like there were things that you couldn't do? Like this is not, these are not. I think you alluded to a, a little bit of it, well, but like there are some things that as a boy you, you couldn't play with or you couldn't ask for, you couldn't have. Like what what were those some of those types of things if you if you, if you had that experience? Oh me. Mm -hmm. Oh, nigga, you better not touch no damn Barbie dolls. There don't be no sissy. I'm quoting my granddaddy on that. There don't be no sissy. And even before action figures, all of that, 
going to Juno's, which is like the little neighborhood market or whatever, my grandmother, she would buy my cousin something and buy me like a truck or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? And don't you play with this, you play with that. You know what I'm saying? While I had all the X-Men and the Jets and all this and that, my cousin had all the Barbie doll shit or whatever. You play with your shit over there, play with my shit over here. Don't you be over there playing with no damn Barbie dolls. <laughs> like, like, it wasn't good. I, I think it. I think it's a similar experience for all of us. Like, uh, it's, it's imprinted on you at a young age that you're going to play with the action figures, the trucks, the dinosaurs, mm-hmm. uh, and you know your sister or your your girl cousin or whoever is going to play with the the dolls and the the uh, easy bake oven yep. and uh, you know all that stuff. Personally, personally, I wanted easy bake oven because I wanted. You had to get I the slime thing too because them cakes look good. Them that, cakes they did, good. but you got to get the slime thing. Remember they again, like the, the, like you mentioned about the Mad Max toy. The masculine version of it was the the slime where you make all the little bugs and all of that. Oh, stuff. the creepy crawler. Yeah, yeah, creepy crawler. And it was yeah. like it's like the male easy bake oven. But I'm like, I ain't about to eat no fake spider, nigga. I want them brownies over there because Cuz actually made them one time and they slapped. I was like, nigga, like, come on now. I remember my sister had, you know, those dolls that came out that had, uh, that would really like shit and like pee. <laughs> my sister got one of those dolls and it like shit. I don't know how, but it got shit on my goosebump sweater sweatshirt. I was so mad. I was so mad. It was the cover of, uh, my hairiest adventure. Remember that goosebump book? It was that cover <laughs> that I had the shirt of. So many things. I was, I was pissed. Man, so, so also, I think she had a possessed, uh, tickle me Elmo. Cause that dog just started laughing and nobody touched it. Mm. It did that a couple times and we put that shit away. We were like, nope, ain't no Annabelle happening in here. Man. <laughs> just tore the head <laughs> off and threw it in the trash. Oh, I also had the Talk Boy from Home Alone that I never used. I had that. Um, never used it, not one time. Told you, niggas was rapping <laughs> off that shit, bro. That shit was quality, man. You can record a whole demo tape. Cause this is my crew when it's happening. When it's happening, what's happening, what's happening. <laughs> I couldn't have I couldn't have anything that was any type of plush like even even comic book related um, female action figures like I, I could because I, I I wanted like again like I wanted sets I wanted the whole like I couldn't have Jean Grey like mm-hmm. um, they let me have Storm because she was black but right, right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like there like in you know uh, and then of course you know you get into like the GI Joes and I, ha- I have uh, female friends who had you know barbie dolls and we would interact and you know uh that kind of thing but like yeah you there were things that you weren't allowed to to do and uh and, and not and even like sets of ma- matchbox cars like mm-hmm. I, that that was police too like it had to have certain types of like the muscle cars the race cars oh the, dang you know what i'm saying i couldn't i couldn't have a set that had sedans in them or you know like it, 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 who they want you to be Dom Toretto you right there's <laughs> a Ford household we only drive Ford <laughs> in this house <laughs> you live your mile one quarter mile at a time we drive fast right. uh, yeah. yeah I just yeah yeah, it was, Are, what, what, yeah that's you, a little extreme <laughs> since you bring that up I remember one time because like I, I liked Gargoyles very underrated franchise hopefully we could get like oh, to an episode oh, on, on oh, there absolutely. But uh, I remember being told, like, no, that's demonic. Buy something else. That's too demonic. You're here. Buy Iron Man. I'm like, oh, the weapons dealer. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I can't have these mythical creatures. Oh, that looked like the devil. Oh, you can't have that. that was, uh, no, look at that. Look at his eyes. His eyes light yeah. up. Oh, no, you ain't getting that, man. Go get your Batman or something. I will admit, though, that there were times that I would uh, interact the, the Barbies with my action figures just so I could, like, beat the Barbies up. Like do wrestling moves. I think the attitude era like warped me. So I was Mill doing like chauvinist. wrestling moves. I was doing wrestling moves yeah. on the Barbies. Cause you know the those type of dolls are more flexible than a lot of action figures. So you can do yeah. more realistic wrestling moves. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Were these wrestling moves free? But but I also was a sickle and be ripping the heads off the Barbies too. Like I don't know why. Okay. Well. <laughs> maybe, maybe we know why, but I don't know. Uh, right. What, what does that mean, Aaron? What are you trying to say? Watch out for free. Uh, but uh... right, because were these really wrestling moves, or it puts the lotion on the skin or it gets the hose again? <laughs> uh, but but even like you know, uh, also because it's a generational thing. Like my my mom called all my action figures dolls. Like I had to always correct her. And I, and I don't know figure. if I needed to correct her because I mean she bought she bought them for me even though she called them she just called all of them dolls like it didn't 
you know, uh, she didn't distinguish like, oh, you got some dolls out here. Uh, pick up your dolls for for somebody to fall over and trip on them. Like, I'm like, they're not dolls. They're action figures. Like, you know, they're they're different. Even though, you know, probably made made in the same, you know, uh, cast. You know, uh, in, in same factory. Mm-hmm. You know, they just threw these in this one and threw these. Put a wig on that one. And, and the plastic's one, just a little harder. This one got a, a, a helmet. That's it. You know, right? So I just wanted to, you know, couldn't talk about toys without talking about how you know, how restrictive society and our families were, you know, um, because it's all, it's all fantasy. It's all, it's all toys. It's all the same thing, but Mm -hmm. you know, um, the restrictions exist. Oh, actually like I, when I got a He-Man, uh, um, action figure, I had She-Ra too. Um, and people was real mad that I had She-Ra. I think it was a gift from somebody else. But I, you know, we're, we're fighting. Everybody's fighting. Everybody's fighting Skeletor. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we all, you know, Grayskull, all that. And it didn't matter that she had long, you know, blonde hair, you know, and she was fighting alongside he Like, right. what's, what's the big what, deal? What no wrestling moves to be had there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a psychopath like free, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, like, I, it's, it's, we, we should, we should always kind of pay attention to, you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not saying that, uh, uh, it doesn't matter what we have kids play. I mean, you know, I ain't got no kids, so you know this is this is for y'all to whatever your kid likes to play with is what your kid likes to play with. You yeah. know, um, you know, and um, and I think TV, movies, all kinds of other things also you know impact the way that we see these things too. I, I just put it. I just threw a couple of these pop culture references and you know if y'all have more you know uh, y'all can throw them in too but you know the comic book guy on the simpsons there's literally this episode where you know he's fighting with uh lucy lawless xena uh and uh he, he he's, he's like oh yeah i got you i think it was like one of these uh halloween episodes he pulls out this uh, yeah i got the limited edition double lightsaber uh from revenge of the sith and then he pulls out a package and he like actually uses it she's like oh, it's not that yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh no!" He falls over, like you know, and he uh, falls in some new sight, like uh, Han Solo did. Um, but you know, also the whole entire movie, the Toy Story. You know, forty-year-old version. He like, if you remember in the movie, like his at his at his spot, like he had you know action figures still in the package, like yeah, you know, lay, lay, layered on his walls and stuff like that. And he's like, "Well," oh. and he has a he has a woman over. And he's like, no, don't, don't take him out of the package. That hurt, you know. What I'm saying yeah. like, he's really anal about that. And then literally just recently, in Across the Spider Verse, that that same thing happens. That that same sort of like thing about, hey, don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When Gwen, yeah. when Gwen comes over, yeah. Mm-hmm. What, well, reason. Well, when it's referenced like that, I I think that, and that's why I asked even earlier, like, because it's more collectible. Right, and, and it's just like the nostalgia is preserving it and, and preserving it. it. May even if it's not even for financial gain or whatever, you're just trying to preserve like your childhood or, or preserve like that memory of that, right? So that's different. Now, if it's a grown ass man and he appeared like, all right, three o'clock, I'm gonna play with my toys. Two, 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 two. It's like, all right, nigga. <laughs> we, so, <laughs> you okay? Yeah, you got a split exactly. personality that's a six year old child trapped inside of you or something. Like, you, you you might want to ask them some questions. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. They okay. Be like, dude, dude, you won't get no pussy or nothing, nigga. Like, it's, it's, it's girls here, nigga. You got action figures in your backpack. What the fuck is going on here? Um, but yeah, like you know, there's 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 mounds and mounds of people who are are still knee deep in it, and I think it's almost sort of like and I, I forgot to mention too robot chicken that whole show like it's based off of mm-hmm. it's, toys. it's literal I, action figures a lot of times the, yeah. the, the most the most hilarious like before robot chicken what like what what created robot chicken was uh um y'all remember the well free you maybe remember wizard magazine right and so yeah. they had a they had a different version of it that was just for toys, Toy Fair. Yep. Uh, and like there were these like one off like if you look through a, a, a regular issue of Toy Fair, like they had literally the the most hilarious use of toys and action figures ever in my life. Yep. Just like 
this the most. And so they they actually collected them like together uh, and like they would have their own books. And again, this is all before Robot Chicken. And it's like, it, I literally would be in tears reading this thing because it was so hilarious. Um, but, um, you know, I, I, I think it's such a melding and important part of the media and the culture that, you know what I'm saying, toys, it, they, they, they run alongside, you know? Yeah. Uh, and there are still people that are, of course, using it because of all the money that's going into it. But also there are people that are, um, there's evolving things. Like, remember way back when bobbleheads, but like the, the new bobblehead is the Funko Pop. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Yep. I got an emerging, I got an emerging collection myself. You out here, man. You out here. Well, I, and I, I see- I'm trying to start one. Like, because I'm like, all right. I'm getting back into shit. Like, and again, I'm not planning on taking out the box or nothing. But like, I'm like, where can I find I, these? At? I, I never Jones. see. I never see anybody take them out of the box. Yeah, I don't I've either. Seen that. I only have one taken out of the box because it kept one up when we when my my wife ordered it for me. It was a Kobe Bryant Funko Pop, and she ordered it from like Japan or some shit. And when it came, like the box was already dented, so we just took it out. So, mm. um, but Jones, speaking of that, you need when you when you're more local again. You need to check out Black Star Collectibles in Long Beach at the Pike. It's a it's a black owned yeah. collectible store. And it's I dope. follow them on IG. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm making some plans to you know what I'm saying to get out there for sure, for sure. Um, but but I, there's I, there's a shop over here in, in Woodland Hills, um, but uh, it like just opened up, so I don't I don't know if they really is it black owned. That much yet. Torpedo Comics. Is it black owned? I support the people now. Yeah, yeah, so you probably, know you, you support yeah. you supporting the wrong man, brother man, the, the, the white man. <laughs> <laughs> I know I got our, I got our people. You know what I'm saying? I believe in it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all that, all that. Gotta stay but, down for but, the come up. But I see myself revisiting this this. Uh, I guess you could call it a medium, uh, because you know when my son as he gets older, he's gonna want to play with toys and stuff. So I mm. see myself getting back into that very soon. Yeah. Well, not, you'll, can, can, you'll be t- the type of parent too that's like supportive and like it understands it and it's not you know, so we're gonna be playing together miles morales against you know miguel o'hara and yeah you're gonna teach him to play the right way so he ain't smashing yeah. the shit together yeah 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 now mm-hmm. now with me i have a daughter and, and and kind of what jones said though like i don't plan on policing like her stuff like that now of course it, was, it ain't nothing crazy or whatever right but it, it usually is based on what she's watching on the tablet like she's a big bluey buff now like she love bluey stuff so we got her some bluey dolls of course she like like anything kind of like pink and purpley and stuff so a lot of that's like you know it's like a uh, i think we got her a flamingo it's a uh like a unicorn she calls it a unicorn because that's what they call it on bluey but like a little unicorn thing and stuff so it's, it's little stuff but we haven't gotten all the way into like the doll phase she do got like this little fake black baby now that's the one thing that i am adamant about Gotta be black. Yeah, when we get her these dolls <laughs> and stuff, black, black on black on black. Like, like I don't care. Black, she can, black, she black, can, black, she can, black, she can black, play black. with other stuff, and if she want to have the whole set or whatever, like to be diverse, we're gonna get you the Asian doll, and then the 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 uh, <laughs> the, the black doll, and then the, if you want the white doll, then we can. The white doll will be last. <laughs> <laughs> I want to teach my daughter cultural diversity. I'm black, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm black, y'all. I'm just saying, but like, and, and again, t- when we were coming up. You had to go all the way. It would be a whole row. Because I know I would get my toy off the rip. I knew what I wanted. But watching my cousin go up and down the aisle trying to find, and, and literally she couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, like she would just be like, like, and it'd be that one black dial on the end. It don't have none of the accessories. It only got like two outfits, if that, where the, or the rest of the Barbies, is California Barbie, uh, Rodeo Barbie. Uh, race car Barbie da, 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 with like 15 matching outfits, comb, hair, this and that, the black dial, nothing. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's, it, especially in a time like this, no, I want my daughter to be represented in the, again, because the whole point of playing with the toy is to like, to help with your imagination and it's not what you to imagine yourself in these scenarios and all that. That's it. Hey, right, absolutely. y'all can judge me if y'all want, but judging, what a, what a I way. will say <laughs> This Barbie movie, I want to see. It. it looks like it looks like there's more to it than than what's on the surface. Oh yeah, like I feel like there's like a a metaphor or it's a satire type of thing. I mean, you can look up the director and with her credits, you can tell that it's going to be more than just yeah surface level. 
I'm watching it. Toy toy tie, but it looks something up with that movie, and I I'm, I'm intrigued. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to rip the heads off and put no. in wrestling moves? You want to see what wrestling moves? No, nah, Issa with? Ray in there. I don't want to hurt Issa. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the dolls. Okay. Okay. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we would like to know where the black dolls are. Ryan Gosling, your days are numbered. <laughs> Oh yeah, Issa plays like the uh, the Barbie president, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah, they better have shit. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna boycott that movie. So, <laughs> just to uh, maybe wrap uh, uh, things up, uh, you know, I'm. We talked a little bit about like our own experiences. We talked about sort of the uh, the rise and fall, and then the rise again, and you know, uh, it, 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 we came. From, we came from a time when, you know what I'm saying, there were actual whole department stores devoted to, to toys and that's mm-hmm. not a thing anymore. Um, but I think it's still it's still alive, it's still, you know, out here and um, we have opportunities to, to, to jump in um, for ourselves, but also for the next generation. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I feel like, you know, um, we really should respect and, and think about toys and talk about them a little bit more often because you know, I, I think about how I um, how I do the work that I do in the, in the field that I'm in, and you know, uh, action figures or comic books or posters and things like that help people to understand who I am. Mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and I'm looking to maybe bring some of those into you know uh, my office a whole lot more. They see what your taste so, is, right? Um, they see if you if you got a Star Wars thing up, they're like, oh, okay. He's, you know what I'm saying? He fucks, with, he, he fucks with Star Wars. If you got some Star Trek, oh, he's a Trekkie. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, he's a big Marvel guy. Like, it's, okay. it's an invitation to show them that I, I'm a, I am a human, a regular human being, that I, I like things outside of this, this, this place. You it know? makes it a safe space for students that, that identify with that and don't oh. always feel accepted in, in certain areas. Yeah. 100%. And but I will say toys aren't going anywhere anytime soon because Hasbro got like a movie division. Right. So I think has one of Hasbro's main goals now is to monetize their 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 products in the film space. They gonna make that's new characters. You, right. <laughs> that's why you see tra- so, tra- Transformers. Uh, a new Transformers movie just dropped. I think they're trying to do stuff with GI Joe again. I think there's a Hot Wheels movie coming out that JJ Abrams is doing. So it's a. Uh, that's it, called Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> right, pretty much. Right, there's already a Hot Wheels movie. Right, right. So literally, uh, we saw the fast right. Yo, there's a whole Wikipedia. Wow, I didn't really realize there's a whole Wikipedia of just films related to Hasbro properties. Now, yeah. Now, now I'll say this though, because Jones talked about it too financially. And just like it costs a lot because you realize like these shits are expensive, especially when you talk about like having whole sets of toys and stuff. And now as a, as an adult, I'll cut through the because again they don't have Toys R Us and KB Toys and stuff like that. They got you go through Target or like go through the little toy aisle in, in Walmart or something, and then and the whole selection ain't there for real. But I'll walk through there every now and then on the way to the Nerf guns, and I'll be like. Man, I could buy all of this shit right now if I wanted to, but it's like, ah, oh, you know, I don't play with toys no more. But it, it, it feel good. The, the, talking to the kid in me is like, nigga, I got money now. If I wanted to buy all of these shit, I'll buy this whole rack out. We didn't see. We didn't I'm even, similar. We didn't, get to, we didn't even get to Nerf guns and Super Soakers and water guns. We well, because that's different. That, that, yeah, that's a whole different category. Uh, yeah, you need to get to that. But, but yeah. I would yeah. say it's similar to Milo, but I'm more as I'm walking to the electronics. Is usually the toys are right by the electronics. So I'll, yeah. I'll look and I'm like, man, this shit is dope. And then now I'll think, well, I can't wait till Miles is a couple years older so I can start getting in some of these things and mm-hmm. see how he likes them and how what he what what characters he's drawn to. Uh, is he gonna be a superhero kid? Is he gonna be a dinosaur kid? Is he gonna right. be a, a trucks and cars kid? It's gonna be fun to see. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely looking forward to that. Well, well, you touched on something too, though. And yes, toys will be around, but I really feel like the more, to, uh, and I said this about the video game stuff, but as technology and these tablets and, and cause even with some of the tablets and, and not even just from an entertainment standpoint, but even some of the educational stuff, it's much more immersive because it takes your character. You can do something with Spider-Man and Spider-Man is teaching you how to color. Spider-Man is teaching you how to draw. So I think technology will kind of 
curve a little bit of that away from the actual like figures now they'll still buy them and probably play with them but i think more as we have video games and like these immersive like learning tools on these tablets and stuff i i see it becoming more of a collector type of thing and more of the nostalgia for us than them actually like getting a whole set breaking down on the living room floor and playing with them <laughs> like, like like i can see that yeah. i can see that you know especially metaverse will put you in spider-man shoes and stuff i still think we're a lot farther away from the metaverse than right. what mark zuckerberg was trying to tell us but right um you oh, know no. it's still it's coming down the line whether we like it or not shit i play gta 5 online nigga, that's all the metaverse i need <laughs> <laughs> so yeah man um we're at a point final words uh man i want to buy some toys now <laughs> i'm glad we talked about this i lit up right. when y'all brought it up and, and hopefully like I, I was able to curtail some of that and stay focused throughout the episode because like like it's it's it was a big part of my childhood and and again it was the turning point of when i like embarked on to become the person that i've become but like I, I never forget that moment because it's like and i always think about it like dang did i did i did i pull the cord too soon but I'm where I'm supposed to be at. But it's like it's, it's always interesting yeah. to revisit that point, though. Also, you can you know who we can thank for shifting action figures to adults? Todd McFarlane. Oh yeah. Oh yep. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Scary ass spawn. Um, and you know he kind of he kind of broke off and um, started you know getting it for himself. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, as a matter of fact, I went to a uh, uh, WonderCon uh, and uh, I went to. Um, this panel uh and he was talking about his experience and and that you know what i'm saying he's still he's still in it you know what i'm saying like he's still um talking about that experience of like yeah i want to take my very weird strange adult cart you know comic book and splinter it off in all these different directions uh, I think well that, that's exactly what he did so i'm not i'm not speaking more so from him creating spawn i'm more so thinking about mcfarland toys and yeah, how that, he probably that, makes more money off of it off his toy brand than off of the spawn right uh, he, was talking, he was talking about how like it's, it's not about the character but that he, he he saw that as an opportunity to splinter off you know and uh and for that to launch and for that to you know what i'm saying shoot up his pockets right because he makes his action his toy brand makes like nfl uh action figures nba yeah. action figures yeah superheroes all kind of shit a lot of and people get that stuff and they put it in their office that's, exactly because it, look, it, look, yep. it looks super realistic yep <laughs> trust me i was looking well, for iron man figurines for my desk at work nigga. i'm like all right what can I get? <laughs> <laughs> how much does funko shit cost all right what's, what's this? <laughs> yeah, man. so yeah great talking about it you know i'm 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 ready for that next generation i'm, I'm ready to keep it going and uh yeah man great talking about it Yep. Yep. Yes, sir, man. Who's who gonna Wait. land the plane? Who's gonna land the plane? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Well, <laughs> there a ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this this has been episode four of the Blurs in the Trap podcast. You know, very special episode. All we do is drop nothing but bombs, drop nothing but hits. We're we're about to be multi platinum real soon. More fire, <laughs> more fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. So until next time, folks. Uh yeah until the next one because i think we got one more before we we take our our season hiatus so yep. we got one more uh, some hot fire for you and and then we're gonna let it marinate for a little bit so until the next one y'all peace peace, peace.